and it's an egg catching game. Yeah, you heard me right. We are going to catch eggs which are going to fall from the sky in a basket. See, like this. The basket is going to be moving and we are going to have to catch eggs in the basket. Sounds pretty cool, right? Well, guess what? We are also going to do lots and lots of exciting coding. So anyway, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So now, on to the laptop. And as you can see, I have opened Scratch. So now I'm just going to show you a preview of the game that we're going to be making. So I nicknamed it Eggs for this egg catching game. I'm just going to open it. And let's catch some eggs. See, it looks pretty cool. I'm catching eggs. Yeah, I'm going to catch her. One. Did you see that? I just won. You win. See? And just smiley face too. So now, let's get started with the coding of this awesome game. So just new project. And as you can see, we have Sprite Tone which is default in Scratch. We don't need it so I'm just going to delete it. So now I'm just going to choose a Sprite. So let's search farm and everything related to farms gonna come a rooster yeah a hen let's see yes we found a hen i'm just going to duplicate this hen and finally duplicate now let me search for one more thing the main items the egg wait and finally the bowl yes the bowl so also keep in mind that you have to change the size of the bowl to 150 and also the egg size which is about too big should be changed to 70 so that's like an appropriate egg size see so now let's you know choose a proper background for it so since it's a farm, I'm going to go with the farm. See look, everything just fits in perfectly. I'm also going to reduce the size of the hands. So 30, enter, yep, that's small enough. 30, and I'm also going to change the costume of it. I'm going to change it to, um, let's see. Handy looks good, it looks like it's eating some grain. And hen tree. I'm just going to change it to a costume. And now size is going to be 30. Great. So now this rooster is a bit too big. So 70 is a proper size for it. It looks like it's down the front screen. And these birds are, you know, at the back. Like that. Yeah. Looks like a proper farm scene now. So now let's add the windscreen and the roof screen. So if you've seen my last video, you probably know how to add a gradient. And of course, you always have to convert to bitmap for all the designing work. So I'm not in the mood for a gradient, so I'm just going to fill with a regular blue. Oh, that's a good blue. I'm also going to duplicate this and fill this one with a new boiling color of red whoa this looks like red lava yes this is awesome now for this i'm just going to choose a white text saturation zero and sand sheriff let me see a marker looks good so let me say right um you win Yes, this looks good. You can also add one of those smileys. I'm just going to tap back. Back. And back. I'm just going to write in that. 
you win. Now that's it, smiley face, yes. Yes. Finally, you win. Now for backdrop 2, I'm just going to name it loser. Loser. And this one, winner. Winner. Now for loser, you have to choose a black. Because red and black goes very well. You lose. Yes, this looks cool. Now we have everything required for making this game. So let's start with the coding. So first up, we are going to have to code the egg. So let's go to the code. So now, if you've seen my last video, you know what Ben Green Flag click does. It basically runs the code whenever you click the green flag. So we are going to bring that. And we are also going to name a variable called score. So I'm going to name it score. You can also name it points if you want. So this looks pretty good. So I'm going to name it score. So now you're going to have to do something called set score to zero. So I'm naming it set score to zero. And also show variable score next go to looks and write switch backdrop to farm switch costume to egg a next go to motion and search for go to random position and it's right here so go to random position and that's set y to 180 so set y to 180 next use a forever block and I'm also going to keep this here so it will be easier so forever change y by minus 10 which basically means that it will always be changing its position down downwards so basically y positions are vertical and x positions are horizontal so if you go right that means you're going to be adding something to x which is at standard zero when in the center and also if you go left that means you're getting a minus value of x if you go to the top you get a plus value of y if you go to the bottom you get a minus value of you know why so now we are going to have to take change y by minus 10 which will basically bring it down like this and also we are going to have to go to control and do something called if then which basically means if you do something then what's it going to do so we are going to have to use operators which are basically for mathematical operations so now I'm going to keep it as minus 150 which means if its height is below minus 150 it's going to do something so now I have to go to motions take y position next I'm also going to have to again go to variables and take change score by minus one and also I'm going to have to go to looks and take switch costume to egg B costume to egg B after switching costume to egg B now we are going to go to control and put date 
0 0.5 seconds. Next, we are going to go to motion and put go to random position. Next, set Y to 180, which basically brings it back to the top and falls again. Looks. Since egg B is kind of like a broken egg, if you can go to costume, you can see egg B is a broken egg. Now, it will be weird for broken eggs to be falling. So, we are going to do switch costume to egg A. And also, we are going to make it show itself. Show. So, great. Now we've done this. Now we are going to have to do one more thing. You have to take another pen green flag clip. Go to control. Forever. And then, and if then. And go to sensing. Taking, touching. If touching bowl so whenever the bowl kind of touches it which is basically catching it it's going to hide so the looks are going to be hide and now we're also going to add a sound so whenever you touch it it's going to make a sound so for that go to sounds and take collect see that's a good sound so now we are going to have to take collect by going to sounds and put start sound collect so one thing you should note that start sound collect and play sound collect until done are not the same start sound collect means that when you start sound collect it will just start it and also end it but then it will also run the course it just needs to start the sound and then it will run the through the rest of the codes and also you know that codes can go pretty fast and play sound collect until done means that as soon as play sound collect is done it's going to move on to the next part of the code so now we are going to go to variables and take change my variable by one but actually we are going to change it to change score by one next we are going to go to motion take go to random position which basically brings it back to the top once more actually not yet you have to always add set y to 180 block that's one of the most important blocks for this and also you have to go to looks take switch costume to egg a and also we are going to have to sh make it show itself since it basically hid itself after touching the bowl so now yay that's great we completed everything having to do with the when green flag clicked so now we are going to have to go to motion and also we are going to have to do this it's a very important thing which is basically the foundation for making it show and hide in different places so now we're going to have to take when backdrop switches to so when backdrop switches to farm it's going to show itself so i'm just going to scroll down and yeah that's show when backdrop switches to farm show so now i'm just going to duplicate this and backdrop switches to farm hide no that would cause an error so instead in backdrop switches to winner i'm just going to duplicate this block in backdrop switches to loser hide backdrop switches to winner hide and backdrop switches to loser also you're going to have to hide so great this is what we have done and variables we are going to also do this 
we're going to hide both the variable because the variable will be still seen so this is just optional if you want to see the score even after you know winning or losing be my guest you can skip this part of code of doing hide variable my variable actually not my variable I meant score so you are also going to have to do it here hide variable score and also we are going to do a few stop all so stop all is basically stop everything that's running every single sprite every single backdrops code is just going to stop it all it basically is the same as clicking the red button so now when backdrop is the winner actually loser it's going to forever stop all and yes stop all and also stop all here so great we've completed every single bit of code for the egg this is awesome so now let's just run the code and see if the egg is going to fall and yes see look it's falling and if it touches a basket it's making that collect sound and doing it but we can't really control the basket now so that's why we are going to code the bowl so I'm just going to duplicate the egg you know to make that more eggs so now let's go to the bowls coding so I'm just going to go to the bowl and now I'm going to take a when green flag clicked block next I'm going to go to the motion and take set rotation style because we are going to move it by pressing the right arrow and the left arrow we don't want it to get messed up so I am taking the set rotation style left to right which means it won't turn much it will just turn left and right on hitting the wall so now I am going to have to take the go to x go to y so this is the one and I am going to change it to x1 and y minus one four seven now i'm going to go to control and take the forever block next if then and another if then and i'm going to go to sensing and take key space pressed here too so i'm just going to take it to key right arrow pressed and key left arrow pressed it basically means that whenever you press the right arrow it's going to do something and whenever you press the left arrow it's going to do something in this case it's going to move so now I'm going to take change x by 10 so that's a bit slow so I'm just going to put it as change x to 12.5 and change x by minus 12.5 and also we are going to take the if on edge bounce block right here so now let's see whoa do you see that it is going like this pretty cool right but look my score is getting higher even higher than 10 and it's not changing so we are going to do a bit of coding for that too so events when green flag clicked control wait 25 seconds so this is where you can adjust the timer for written time limit you have to win or else you know you lose so now Pick the forever block. Next, take if then, then go to operators and take this block, which is basically less than. 
So now I'm going to take it to 10, go to variables and choose score. It basically means that if the score is less than 10, what's it going to do? It's going to switch to background to loser. Yeah, you're going to lose in 25 seconds if your score is not, you know, high enough. So loser. So great. You got this coding pin down. I'm just going to make it because yeah. And now we are going to go to events and you know hide it, show it like that. So when backdrop switches to winner, when backdrop switches to farm, and finally when backdrop switches to loser. So I'll just change it to farm and also loser. So now I'm going to go to looks and here show hide and hide so this is the code so now we are going to do a bit more coding so I'm just going down So now we are going to have to take an other when green flag clicked. Go to control and take the forever block. So this is basically for making you win. So now you take an if then. Go to operators. And then take or. And also take this and this so you might be wondering what we're going to do with this well I'll just arrange it yes I have arranged it so this is where you set the score how much you need to win so 10 and 10 it basically means that even if the score is greater than 10 even if the score is less than 10 you're going to win so I'm going to looks and taking switch backdrop to let's see winner and then go to variables and then take score because if the score is higher than 10 or the score is equal to 10 you're going to win I'm just going to scroll down and now you're going to go to events, take when green flag clicked, go down forever. Then we're also going to take an if then block. Then we're going to move on to operators. And then we are going to take the less than symbol. So minus 15. So now we are going to go to variables and take score. Next we are going to go to looks and take switch backdrop to loser. It basically means that if you get a score less than minus 15 like you haven't caught 15 eggs you are definitely going to lose so, so now we are going to add some special effects so let's go to rooster take the when green flag clicked block then forever and then we are also going to take the wait one seconds block and I'm going to change it to Wait the event point five seconds. Then I'm going to go to looks and take switch costume to rooster C. Actually, it's supposed to be rooster B, so I'm changing it to rooster B. Next, I'm going to sound and start sound rooster. Actually, not start sound rooster. Play sound rooster. So 
let's see how it's going to call so you can go to sounds and let's see that was kind of loud so I'm just going to make it softer one still too loud yes that was soft enough so play sound rooster until done next we are going to go to looks and put switch costume to rooster A which is its original self if you go to costume C rooster A rooster B is going so now we are also going to go to events and you know we are going to do the basic things when backdrop switches to winner when backdrop switches to winner and when backdrop switches to winner so this is going to be loser this is going to be farm so I'm going to go to looks I'm going to go down and take show hide and hide so now show hide and hide so now we just need to bring this to the hand too so you just carefully drag it and if you see the hand tingle or something that means it's going to be there so it's not yet there because it's not tingle so let's see if yes it tingled so now see the code has automatically been applied so now I'm just going to bring this here. Yep, it tingled. Yes. So now let's see. Yes, all three codes have been done. And now we just need to do the same process to bring it to hands to. Yes. And now hand two to hand three. Also note that your code doesn't go away, it remains, it just creates a copy of itself. Yes. So now, we've completed a game. So let's see how the game works. So I'm going to catch some eggs. Whoa, this is so cool. See? Now let's see how the lose thing also works. So I'm going to go below minus 15. Let's see if that bit of code works. Hmm. It's going to take a long time. Avoid the eggs. I didn't want to lose. Oh no. I lost. So great, this coding has been awesome. I hope you enjoyed this coding because it's me stopping the coding.